Hello, I am Eli G. Brown slash Eli G. Brony, here with my final look at all of the hero sets from Wave 1 of Invasion from Below. There are five sets here. Five hero-themed sets. They all come with hero minifigures, and they all come with these little jumpers. Now, there are a total of, I think, nine jumpers. Three in red, four in orange, and two in green. Each set comes with one, two, or three of these jumpers, but they're always different colors. No two jumpers in one set are the same. So, yeah. So, what we have, we have Stormer, Raka, Evo, Inferno, in machines, and they're ready for battle. And, well, Breeze is also in this wave, too, but she only appears in the Flyer Beast vs. Breeze set, which I'll get to when we get to that. But for right now, these are all of the hero-themed sets, not all of the hero minifigures from uh, Wave 1 of Invasion from Below, just all of the sets as a whole. Now, what do I think of this? Well, the whole idea of going minifig scale I'm not too much of a fan of that, but the minifigures from this series all look pretty impressive. And we get new colors for pieces that we did not have before. So if you really wanted to have some sort of piece, but it was not available in a certain color that you wanted, and with this series now it has, well, that's good. Especially with the five long size armor pieces in yellow that come with both Evo sets. Now, the Evo Walker kind of looks like it's something that you could make out of parts from the other sets. But, hey, the Evo Walker isn't bad for a starter of anything. Sure, it's the cheapest set, but it doesn't have a torso in it, so that's one disappointing thing. Though, with Evo XL Machine, having Evo get the big thing, the big XL thing this time, that certainly is quite impressive. I mean, with Savage Planet, Rocket got to become the XL hero of that series, and with Breakout, we got Stormer in XL form, and then Ferno went into XL form in Brain Attack. So, it appears that each year we are getting an XL hero, though in this case we have an XL uh, machine. The Evo XL machine. So, it is pretty good, though there are hero minifigures that come in each of the villain sets as well, because Stormer will also appear in the Jobby set, Ferno and Evo will appear in the Flyer, not Flyer, Splitter Beast set, and Breeze, as I said before, will come in the Flyer Beast set. So, that is pretty good. Not all the heroes from this series are in here. We are missing some heroes. Breeze, first of all, isn't doesn't have her own machine in this wave. She'll get her own machine in wave two. And Bulk and Surge are not present at all in this wave. But they will both appear in wave two. And again, Nex and Stringer are absent for the second time in a row. And it's not because they're dead! They are not dead. If I receive a comment saying that they are dead, I will delete it. Period. Okay. So, I kind of think this series looks pretty good. I'm quite impressed that LEGO is going minifig scale. Though I do hope that the minifig thing is not going to be a continuous thing. Uh, in years to come. I mean, it looks good just as... just as... just as a series happening once. Like, the, the minifigures are a good thing to have at least once, so if we do get minifigs again next year, I hope that at least Next and Stringer will be in that series, because they deserve to have a comeback. Because it's not right for two heroes to be absent for two series in a row. They need to come back next year. So, Lego, if you are watching this video, bring Nex and Stringer back next year. Please! Thank you. Okay, 
Well, I'm going to see if I can do the combination models with these guys, so I'll talk to you again then. Uh, bye for now.